Hi, I'm Heather. I'm a dancer and I'm a choreographer and I'm also a dance teacher. Fata Dance is a lot of things. It's the three of us making up new works. We have a youth company that we work with. And then we also run a school and, and we teach people as little as three years old to like 50 years old. We teach everybody dance. The second one is breath because everything is frantic. I love fostering this relationship with them and watching them grow as a dancer and as a human and as an artist uh, and, and being with them on that path, especially in their earlier formative years. That's one of my favorite things. I get to try out all kinds of different things on my students. They're kind of my guinea pigs. <laughs> and we're in it together and we're learning together, but I think that's something that's really important when you're an artist and a teacher is that you keep that alive, that you, that even when you're a teacher, you're still trying new things and exploring with your students. The first type of dance I ever did was Highland dancing. And I started when I was about probably seven. I started Highland dancing. Highland dancing, there's just set dances and you learn them. Um, and there's, n there's not really a, a lot of creativity or, or a, um, like like improvisation or new choreography that happens there. I was probably like 19 or 20 when I discovered contemporary dance. I grew up in Swift Current and so I, I came to Regina and I discovered a contemporary dance class at the conservatory in Regina. And uh, when I was there, someone that was a, a guest teacher at the class told me about Concordia University and how they have this department of dance and how you can go to university uh, to get a degree in contemporary dance. And that was the first time where I was like, oh, you can do this? You can just go and study dance? You can be a dancer? This is an option? So um, that's what led me on the path. I think something that's special about dance is that you don't need anything else. That it's something that we're all born with because what you need is a body. And if you're alive, you've got one. I mean, any kind of art form is about communication, it's about expression. And this seems like one of the most fundamental ways that people express themselves. And you do it all the time, whether you're aware of it or not, your body is giving out so much language so much information. I feel like there is a voice for every child or every human out there. The trick is just like finding out what that voice is and, and, and having the bravery, the courage, and the determination to go through with that and follow through with that. And anyone can do that if that's what they want to do.